Bumps or moguls are something you want to find a lot of when you're going off-piste. They can be quite intimidating at times, but with some of the techniques we're going to look at, you'll be amazed how much more confident you'll start to feel. When you're starting to ski bumps, try and find some nice ones like this. They're not too intimidating. The bumps behind me here are a little bit too big to start with. You might be able to get down them, but if you're trying to work on your technique, find some smaller ones that aren't going to intimidate you. A good way to practice the bumps is find a few small ones like this and you can actually go across them. We're going to keep our hands in front, our shoulders over your feet and relax. Two goals, keep your head the same level so you can absorb the bumps, push down into the trough, absorb. And the other one is to keep your feet in contact with the snow all the way through, nice and smooth. So the hands are in front, absorb, push down, really keep that head the same level. Stay balanced over your feet. Let the bump push your feet up and then extend down into the trough. We're going to look at three ways to handle these bumps. The first one is actually turning on top of the bump. A lot of people try and ski around them the whole time and avoid them and it's not always the best thing to do. We're actually going to use that bump to help us. It's perfect here, I've got a lot of space around the bump, they're not too close and turning on top is probably the best option. So nice and positive on top of that bump. Here's another one on top, on top. Positive pole plant, turning on the bump, looking ahead and anticipating what's down the slope. Get the timing right and the bump will help you turn. So another way to do it, for these sort of small bumps, you've got some space around them, you can turn around the outsides. If it looks like you've got an opening and space, it's not a bad option. Start to use a combination of these two techniques in the smaller bumps. It will give you more options on where you can turn. Turn around the bumps or on top. Be versatile. Once you're feeling happy on these smaller bumps, we're going to look at a third thing that's going to help you deal with steeper slopes and bigger bumps. The last thing we're going to look at is using the back side of the bump as a brake. So I'm actually going to turn into it, use that face to slow me down and then gently turn around it. You'll probably find it happening more on steeper bumps, a little bit close together and probably the slope's a bit steeper as well. Let's take a look. So there's a back, use the back of that slope. I'm turning into the back side of the bump, then around. Plant the pole, fill the brake, and then turn around. Think about where you're gonna be on the first two or three bumps. Don't just set off with no idea or plan where you're gonna be turning. So at least those first three, you're gonna be in a good position and get the rhythm and then you're flowing down the run. The other thing to watch is your speed into the first turn. Don't go off there like a man possessed and spend the next two turns trying to get the control back. Start off nice and easy and build it up. I'm coming onto a face here. There's some nice bumps down here, but before I'm gonna go, I'm gonna plan my first two or three turns. After that, it's going to be much more ad lib, but get those first two or three sorted in your head before you actually set off. You're going to be in a rhythm. You're going to have much more time to handle the rest of the run. So I'm looking in front of me. The hands are in front. I'm going to do a turn around that one. Over there, nice and smooth. Absorb those bumps. Keep those hands in front, looking ahead of you. Always be a step ahead. It's not about using any one of those techniques, it's about using all three. Pick out the right one at the right time and you'll find yourself having a lot more control coming down the bumps. It's really important to look ahead and if you looked at a bump and you decided to make a turn on it, don't keep staring at it, push that gaze forward, you'll have much more time to react and you'll see things coming at you earlier. Keep those hands in front and really try and relax. You could actually turn something that's quite intimidating into something that's a lot of fun. 